Alright, so good morning everyone. Welcome back to another day of Fargo's Soul Mod. Today, we're back once again to crack on with the Abomination boss fight. The hardest challenge we've had in the mod thus far. But with that being said, whenever I say something like that, it's always met with, James, just wait until you see the mutant. And at this rate, honestly, I would not be too surprised if any moment now, the mutant breaks down my doors and breaks my kneecaps, alright? I, I am that terrified of the mutant. I feel like I am in for a world of pain. Maybe the titles will return. But yeah, we have Abomination to do today, and we have some new tips and tricks from Eula. So let's start, like we usually do, by talking about some of the feedback that you lot left in the last episode. Now, I want to say this. If you are new around here, welcome to Couch Gang. Hope you're enjoying your stay. You know, I've been noticing a lot of new faces down below. I just want you to know how it kind of works on Chippy's Couch, because I don't talk about this too often. Basically, once an episode is posted, until the moment I record this episode, it's more than likely I've seen your comment. So usually we average about 500 to 1,000 comments a day. And think about it. Like, think about how many tweets that you might see if you use Twitter. You know, as you're scrolling down, it doesn't take too long to, to read them all. So although I don't get to respond to every one of them, I do actually read them. And I want you to know that. It's a big part of the channel. I think it's a... Uh, I think it's a real reason why this channel is so enjoyable to be around, in my opinion, and your opinion as well. You lot say it. All right. So <laughs> it sounds like I'm like bigging myself up. Um, but I think this channel's great. I love its community. But yeah. Um, so that yeah, that's why we're starting with comments, and we and we always do. So the biggest one I think we got was more about the the time stop mechanic. So we do have this new thing where we can stop time. Um, what's it from? Is it from? Uh, is it from this? Honestly, I, I can't remember. Wait, which... <laughs> I, like, legitimately can't remember. I know something gives us this special effect. Either way, we need to um to set a button for it. So, let's do that now. Uh, we'll go into controls. Freeze time. So, this is what I'm going to do, by the way. You see the uh, Rod of Discord one that we use? Because we can't use the Rod of Discord anymore during a boss fight, I'm actually going to turn that off. And replace that with freeze time. So let's have a little look. Freeze. Ah, okay. So I think what this does is it freezes the whole game pretty much. So we can do extra stuff. And then we can do that once a minute. But the cool part about it is that minute actually ticks down while you've frozen time. So people were saying this is a really great way to utilize some of the, the extra damage that you have. So say, for example, we're built for solar when we're on the solar enchantment, um, you know, phases of the armor. Stop time and then just, you know, rail into it, basically. So I do I do just want to say, <laughs> I've been noticing we've, we've been getting a lot of accessory recommendations. And I think it's, it's kind of at the point where it's too many. So I can't actually, like, balance everybody's recommendations. Does that make sense? We don't have um, enough accessory slots. And people say, well, you could always get the wing slot mod and then have an extra slot. I don't personally like to do that. I've never done that in the past, only because I don't want to throw off the balancing. But I think the one that was probably recommended the most is the, the Force of Earth. Now, that's from the enchantments that you get from the Earth Champion in Hell. So basically, what I'm saying is we're off to Hell. Um, but yeah, people were like... It's kind of hard right now because... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need to get used to not having the Rod of Discord. Yeah, people were basically like... Yeah, it's kind of hard because you don't have... Um, well, you're specced for melee. So you're not getting the full use out of your your armor, basically. Which makes sense, to be honest. All right. Um, so let me get this straight. You lot were telling me yesterday... This one is Vortex because it looks like Vortex is... In Vortex is, is Ranger, right? So yeah, basically, we are starting off with a quick little champion fight, and then we'll go from there. Is it just me, or is the champion's head larger? Or am I just more zoomed in? Honestly, not too sure. I'm going to try the, the freeze time mechanic. Oh, I also just want to point out, because people kept mentioning it yesterday. Why don't I fire the, the little creeper on the gun? I totally do. It's just that 
Well, I forget about it, but I do know about it, if you know what I mean. All right, so that is Summoner then, isn't it? So, all right, th so this is interesting. You freeze time, but it's not exactly like you um, you freeze time and the, the armor stops um, doing things as well. I'm making no sense, am I? <laughs> the only thing I can remember about this fight is that we need to, um, to stay somewhat in the middle. But it's weird. When you do the boss refights, you almost kind of don't expect that you have to, to dodge and such. So even though I learned this, I'm like doing a bit of a bad job about it. <laughs> okay, so you've got to dodge a couple of hands. I remember that. And then it becomes nebula things, right? You've got to dodge the nebula things. Also, people recommended that I make um, the poison darts for this gun instead of anything else. So that is done. All right, freeze time. Why not? I like how the boss isn't actually frozen, by the way. I just want to say that. Is it moved over to this one yet? Yeah, there we go. All right, anyway, let me let me crack on with this. <laughs> I'm doing a very poor job of explaining this today. All right, there we go. Uh, it's done. <laughs> that was so hard to commentate. <laughs> I feel like I feel like everything I've learned about that fight is completely gone out the window. Um, but yeah, we just need to, to farm a couple of these. Uh, so I'll do this, um, I'll do it a couple of times and, and we'll just go from there. Oh, yeah, uh, I just remembered there is another recommendation. Um, basically, now they changed the way um, the effects work. So I think what you can do now is you can have all of the effects on and then actually make them transparent to reduce uh, screen clutter. We're going to do that in a minute. We're going to test that out. So... That will be good for all of our attacks, but Summoner. It will make um, Summoner weak. But I think ultimately, it will probably balance out to be uh, to be worth it. So, yeah, that's just um, something cool. A little change in the update. I also just want to mention right now that I'm only just noticing that the punching phase is from the, the little Summoner that helps me. Yesterday, I actually thought it was part of the Abomination phase. And I was trying really hard to, to dodge it and go in. Wow, it's, it's like crossing past me all the time. Why is this so hard to dodge? I wasn't saying it out loud, but I was definitely thinking about it. All right, so that is the next one done. Uh, yeah, that's Alchemist mod. All right, so I'll, I'll just keep doing it. I don't know how many we need. I imagine after three fights, I can probably make it. But I believe the, the reason we're making this is because it's kind of a good, like, all-around accessory. So we'll probably swap that with the Berserker Soul so that we're not so heavily dependent on melee, since we are trying to, to really utilize the swapping of classes. Um, so something I did I did cut out of yesterday's episode uh, that I did try, and was kind of recommended by a few people, is because we don't have the, the really sick, like, Soul of Terraria accessory, because we haven't killed Abomination yet, some people were basically like, ah, maybe it's not a good idea to use this yet, because you don't get to fully use it because you're kind of specced in one class, not multi-class. Um, but I did try it with um, the Gaia armor and using solar. And the damage, it just didn't, like, the fight was much slower. So I, I did try it. I obviously died. <laughs> but yeah, the, yeah the, the speed of the fight just wasn't the same. So this actually ended up being better, even though we're not properly specced in every class, pretty much. All right, so that is another one done. Um... Man, we keep getting uh, adamantite enchantments. All right, so let's uh, let's bang this all in here. Yeah, all right. I was just checking we, we weren't going to put in something that we didn't need. So here it is, the force of earth. So 25% chance for your projectiles to explode into shards. 20% increased weapon use speed. Greatly increased life regen after striking an enemy. You spawn an orb of damaging life energy every 80 life regenerated. Flower petals will cause extra damage to your target. Damaging debuffs deal 5 times damage. One of your projectiles will split into 3 every 3 quarters of a second. Briefly become invulnerable after striking an enemy. Gaia's blessing shines upon you. So yeah, this seems like a really sick accessory in all honesty. Like... I feel like that was a, a really good call today. Um, so let's let's test it all out. This is going to be a hard episode. It is. It's not going to be like we're gonna we're gonna go in guns blazing and, and win today. There's still very much to to learn. But I did realize yesterday that 
after the phase where it swings the big holy cross sword at you, it does that like vertical wall of flesh phase. And I realized that if you know when it's coming and we know when it's coming, you can dash through it. And if you stay in a straight line, then, you know, you are not going to take as much damage. That's what I came to realize. All right. Right, so bit of a jump cut here. I had to um, to go and look this up because one of you mentioned it in the comments and I didn't know how to actually turn it on. But for that new like effect thing, uh, you basically go to the, the config and it's right at the bottom. It's called transparent minions and support attacks. And as you can see now, everything is, um, is you know, fading out. It's nice. They're like ghostly. So yeah, it just... Reduces screen clutter. I think that's great. Uh, but I really wanted it so that we could properly do Abomination today. Um, also, I think I'm just going to swap this out. I don't know if this is all that great for now. I think you lot totally agree with that as well. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll do that. And then we'll be a, a much harder to kill um, warrior. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Why can I never talk? <laughs> What's that about? Right. So, abomination time. Let's freeze time. Let's see what that's like. So, as someone is attacking, we're seeing the damage up here. Uh, did I just miss solar? No, okay. Solar's coming up. This is the only thing. It's gonna get... It's like an extra level of complexity for me. <laughs> yeah, it's an extra level of complexity for me because now I've got to think about swapping weapons. I've also got to start thinking about freezing time. And then I'm also going to start thinking about swapping weapons while time is frozen. And then managing that out to be the best it can possibly be. Um, that's all really hard. <laughs> like, like, what? Okay, so because we don't have the enchantment anymore, uh, we do have to manually pick up our nebula things. But we need to get in the habit of doing it because they are really great. Like, it's, it's very good to have them. They're, they're kind of awesome. They give better life regen and better damage. It's a big part of using uh, this mod is doing that. Right. We're going to freeze time again. We're going to stay stationary so that our life regen is quicker. Look at the life regen in the top right. And that's because we're staying stationary. Whoa. Okay. That's a, that's a big bit of lag there. Okay. Right. So we want to go back to Summoner. It's nice not to think about dodging these punches. When I was talking about punches during the fight, this is what I was talking about. Those, like, purple lines. If you were wondering. Because I don't know if I explained it very well. Okay, right. Solar. Solar, solar, solar. Okay. Uh, okay, can't freeze time yet. The whole freezing time thing is sick. I, I do genuinely love it. So we've got nine seconds left on that. Um, so we'll just kind of move out the way and stuff. All right. Um... Okay, should we freeze time? Okay, so we're frozen time. But the abomination is still mo moving. Alright, let's stay stationary. We want to really soak in as much life regen as possible. That's a big part of it. I need to remember to basically just grab it straight away. Oh god. Okay, right. Big sword time? I don't know when the big sword comes up. Because as we're starting to like learn to do more damage, it gets harder and harder to, to, to kind of time. Well, we died then. This is like, <laughs> this is really hard for me, honestly, because there's so much going on. There's a lot of things to try and micromanage because I've got to, I've got to talk. Oh God, <laughs> I wasted it. I've got to talk. I've got to look around. I've got to think of what to say. I've got to pick up fragments. I got to change weapons. I got to think about freezing time. I've got to not get overwhelmed by the amount of stuff that's on screen. It really is. This, this is going to be a hard one for me, this one. What is that? <laughs> what is that phase? Oh my god. <laughs> they just like summon these giant whatever down from the sky. Abomination, please. So, checking in. It's been about... Oh, <laughs> I keep doing this. Force a habit. It's been about an hour. It's been about an hour since we last spoke. I'm having a very terrible time with the fight. <laughs> it's it's not going well. <laughs> I'm really trying. I am. I'm really trying, but it's it's bad. 
I'm not getting far at all. It's just... It's a lot to learn today. I almost feel like... This is going to be an extended saga. For sure. Yeah, it's... You know, I was speaking about this all, you know, moments ago. For you lot. Um, so you know the drill. It's just... It's super hard to, to talk about and all that. Um, so, talking about other things. Almost finished Uncharted 4. Very much enjoying it. I am. I'm very much enjoying it. Weirdly, and this is one of the reasons why people really like the game, right? But I... I really don't like the, the shooting sections in Uncharted. I think they're kind of awful. And I've kind of come to realize that over the past, like, you know, 14 hours of gameplay. But it did make me laugh, right? So yesterday I was talking about how uh, Nathan Drake, like, everything he touches just shatters. And I was really tired last night. And we got a comment that says, this is why the community calls him Nathan Drake. And I probably laughed for about an hour. <laughs> Just you know when you're tired and things are a lot funnier. Nathan Break is his top tier comments. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so yeah, we're, we're not doing well. Obviously, I'm I am fumbling my way through this first half just because it's we're just fumbling our way through. But yeah, this is it's rough. It's really really rough. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm making very much progress. This is a really bad example though. Me just like <laughs> fumbling through the far part. First half isn't a great look. All right, let's slow it down. Okay, now it's mage. Okay, let's just chill. We get good damage as a mage. All right, so we're back up to, to good health. I think um I think a big thing is is I really do need to learn how to start dodging this phase. Somebody did say like hovering around the edges is what does it. I don't know. I, I really struggle with it. And I noticed that when we hit the edges, we lose 100 max life or whatever. Which I don't know if that's a permanent effect, but it's kind of awful. This is awful as well. Alright, this way. <laughs> don't get hit by that. So yeah, just very much fumbling my way through it. Not getting very far. Alright. Oh, Hey, I did that alright, actually. That was a complete fluke as well. I was just like, I, I, think, uh, I think one of the phases is coming up. It's just, um, it's just a hard AI to learn this one, for sure. Like, you can see why it's so difficult at this point. Oh my, stop. If time is frozen, Abomination shouldn't be able to attack you. It should be me that gets the advantage, not him. Right, so I think we're coming up to... Oh, the big laser phase! How do you avoid that? <laughs> what? What is that? What are you meant to do? Is there like, like the tiniest sliver of area you can go? Is that how that works? Explain it. <laughs> Mr. Fargo man, I want words. Now nah, that's really hard, <laughs> like what? Yeah, I've got no idea how that works. Why are we doing so little damage? Is it, oh, is it next phase already? No? Oh, I guess it's because we froze time, I don't know. Wow. All right, now it's time for the massive laser phase. What is this phase? <laughs> How are you meant to avoid it? <laughs> Did we avoid it? I don't even know. I don't know what's going on anymore. This fight has broken me. <laughs> I am a different man today. All right, I really need to not get hit by your abomination. Can you please stop hitting me? Time is frozen. You should not be able to hit me. <laughs> this is a rule. <laughs> Oh my. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. So, uh, I'm probably going to make this my final attempt for today. Uh, today's episode genuinely would be super long if I included all the failed attempts. But, not going to lie, they're kind of miserable to look at. So, don't even worry about it. Alright, let me try and get this little stealth attack on this. This is a really sick trick to, to try and, like, suck up a bunch of, uh, or to, to give out a bunch of extra DPS and such. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely reaching the point where I'm, I'm getting kind of burnt out with the fight, unfortunately. But it, it just kind of, you know, it is what it is. It's hard to do the same thing for hours and hours on end, you know? I have messed this up. <laughs> I am sorry. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it there for today. Um, but yeah, any, any more tips you've got, I'll... 
I'll definitely take. I think it's just it's just the learning curve, isn't it? it it's all it is. Um, somebody actually said yesterday, like, a lot of players that play this mod have, like, a love-hate with it. I'm not in the hate phase, but it is. It's a bit like bittersweet love because you love it, but you know it's kind of painful to get to the right good love. That sounds awful. Right, I'm going to round it up there. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a great week. Um, yeah, it's going to be... I'm excited for, for this week. I'm probably going to get that uh, Slime Rancher video done this week as well. So, yeah, pretty pumped for that. Right, shout out to our channel members as always. Rolling by on screen right now. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.